Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rogue Life, the game where we play roguelike games. Game. Man, someday I'm gonna get this intro right. Today we take our rubbery limbed captain. I guess that hasn't happened to her. She seems to be fine. She's fine. This is all fine. Let's see how she's doing inside of the Empire of Hands. Not a lot of show business today. Please do remember while we're loading up that we do have a Patreon page and the Patreon page can be found inside of the doobly-doo down below us. Uh, and you should go to it and you should fund us because we're also making a game and making games takes time and time is sometimes money because that's how our society works. We, we have to survive by suffering. Uh, which there's a short story about on my uh, webpage at trickdempsey.com. I'm just gonna sip some tea, get into character. I've turned off the fan and it's balls hot out here, so this might go terribly. I see that I have lots of food, but not much fuel, so that'll be funny. Uh, let's see what the uh, stupid, horrible, like extremely colonialist uh, adventuress has to say today. Soul Hungry Monkeys. I'm gonna compile a port report while I'm here because it's good. Uh, let's see what the audience with the civilized mayor has to say. Talk business? Why, yes, yes, of course we shall. But after a cup of tea, one must do these things correctly. Darling, come in, the civilized mayor purrs. Whatever can I do for you? The soul of the delightful adventuress sits comfortably in him, a four-souled ape of cold ambition and very few scruples. In better times, being overseer of Port Stanton gave the incumbent their pick of visitors to the, em to the Empire. Now it is a thankless task, as many as any to be found in the Neath. I can buy emergency fuel, I can buy fresh supplies, or I can sell my soul, which I am not going to do! Uh, interesting. Let's take shore leave. A hunting party. Monkey soldiers scour the jungle for fresh meat. The Empire has little of it, but the unsold monkeys are considered fair prey by their civilized insult betters. Oh my god. Uh, so too are any humans who might disappear without too much trouble. Once back at court, both will be served up and heralded the finest venison, veal, chicken, and pork for a court that knows what it is supposed to like, but not what it actually tastes like. You hide in the bush bushes until the hunting party has gone and slip away undetected into the other direction. Well, that's terrible. Uh, oh. I can continue to explore. The path through the jungle soon becomes dark and treacherous, the predatory eyes of desperate monkeys staring from behind every bush and tree. Exploring the island, we'll have to wait for a more auspicious day. Interesting. Uh, let's see what, uh, I can be f what can be found on the rest of the sea. Travel to Sovereign Island. They still demand a gift worthy of the Emperor to open up their court, perhaps on another island. A quiet yet exhausting affair. It has been a long while since you spent this much time behind oars. Your muscles are, will be glowing by the time you finish your business in the Empire. Gain access to the court. I don't have a gift yet. Oh, right, right. Uh, let's see. What is at Hearthsake right now? It was not madness that drove these pirates to cannibalism, but years of being shipwrecked without the comfort of meat. After a while, any meat would do. The lost treasure hunter. He joined the pirates to see the Z. Now he hopes to one day see something he recognizes. Ahoy, how goes your search, he asks. Find anything? It is a voice that so badly wants the answer to be no. 
trade recent news for dynamite. Yeah. The Lost Treasure Hunter scans the latest headlines. Fascinating, he monitors. And should be most absorbent, if needs be. Ah, so now I've got dynamite. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, persuade him. To, I've got to have a searing enigma. Delightful archaeology. Okay, interesting. Good hunting, he says. Uh, what's that hearth sake? So let's go to Fountainhead. Oh god, the delightful adventuress has a camp. With a small army of monkeys bought with her soul, she excavates the vault of the first emperor. The foliage is thick and unforgiving. The delightful adventuress, helped by her faceless clay man bodyguard Barnabas, and a small group of worker monkeys hired for the price of her soul, works to excavate the vault of the first emperor. Uh, the delightful adventurous has already uncovered and put aside many treasures. A small statue amongst them looks particularly interesting. Uh, sure. At least... You don't think so. It's hard to tell. With Barnabas's blank face giving no nothing away, can he see? He seems to be able to, somehow. In any event, he makes no move to raise an alarm as you take the small trinket. Ah, I can go back to the Monkey Emperor Island. Speak with the delightful... Adventuress, of course. Oh, it's you, of course. Help me with these blasted maps, would you? The monkeys are quite clueless. She shakes her head. They claim our souls uplift them, but if you ask me, it's just a case of monkey see, monkey do. Can you believe they think that zeppelin of theirs will, help, will let them create a new empire? Wait, you there. Take that out of your mouth this very second. To the vault of the first emperor. Uh, it may not, it may look centuries old, but the entryway is relatively new. The monkeys can never leave alone, always adding bits as their whims demand. Uh, that's very dark. It's dark in there. This tribute to the emperor's first and greatest has been constructed over generations by monkeys working with stolen ideas of what the ancient tomb should be. Outside the vault, the delightful adventuress flits back and forth between our base camp and the vault entrance. Ah, sure. To rush, darling, is to court tragedy. The delightful adventuress pays barely any attention to you as she prepares. She is not yet ready to open the vault. You should return later when she has had a chance to organize her monkey workers. This may take a while. Interesting. But I've got a gift. I have a gift for Sovereign Island. The wild wheeled court. The stench and heat as the gates open are a sucker punch to your senses. Inside, the stagnant air of the windowless wood plat palace hangs with the sweat and tastes of hair. Everything is filthy, and every surface used. The apes as likely to swing across the roof as walk the floors. In prized oases of relative calm, the high-souled conduct themselves with the poise of high-born lords and ladies. Around them, their barely uplifted lessers scamper about exhausted, taking orders and cruelties from all who dare dispense them. In the middle are countless more, a sea of apes longing for advancement and fighting for what they have with tooth, claw, and low cunning. Ah. An audience with the Emperor. Emperor Crispin IV holds court in the heart of his palace. None may speak without permission, but the voice of the Emperor is still the least heard of all. Summoned by the Emperor. To step into his throne room is to step into another world, a polished one of cool and blessed quiet that already feels as alien as it is pleasant. An official welcome. The Emperor sits on his throne, wrapped in robes of violet and wearing an ornate golden mask. He remains motionless, silent. He could be mistaken for a statue if not for an almost imperceptible nod to grant his seneschal permission to speak his name. She approaches, arms folded in the red-trimmed yellow robes of a court mandarin. Of a court mandarin. Her expression is carefully blank, the chestnut hair on her face powdered alabaster white and decorated with exquisite detail in red and black. 
The rings on her fingers mark her as a ten-souled ape, a status even the Admiralty can respect. She bows before you, a complicated ritual display of sweeping sleeves, and somehow never breaks eye contact. Finished. She awaits your response. Return the bow. My pages are terrible. A curtsy instead. My pages are terrible. Remain still. Do not demean yourself before mere monkeys. I want to try and return the bow. How's that going? A flicker of disapproval. Did you do something wrong? It appears so. Be that as it may, there is business to discuss. The exquisite Seneschal requests your assistance in supplying the Empire of Hands great work, a zeppelin, that will take them to a new home far away from here. Materials from the journey for the journey. You point out that the Admiralty has the Empire of Hands both under embargo and quarantined. The only thing worse to be caught doing here than supplying them would be to help them escape their confinement. Have your people not already caused us enough pain? She demands. We starve, and you would prevent us being fed. We thirst to explore, and you cage us like animals. Why? For what fine purpose? What threat are we to you who happily dine with devils? She shakes her head, almost with pity. What could you possibly see in us that shames you so? Uh, I'm totally accepting the commission, because I want to see monkeys riding a blip. The exquisite seneschal bows again, deeper. Oh god, don't make me bow back to you, lady. Like, I don't know how to do that. We've proven this. With a pair of servants to row the boat, she takes you to the Zeppelin site in Port Stanton. It was originally the project of a traveler from afar, hoping to travel east, who encountered an hmm, accident. In his plans and engine, however, the monkeys saw great opportunity. The great exodus will require supplies and fuel, of course, explains the exquisite seneschal. We also seek souls to uplift our brethren that may join out the work. You will, of course, be reasonably compensated for your expenses and are rewarded upon completion. She also hints that there may be faster ways to complete the Zeppelin. To say more, though, would require a level of trust that you have not yet earned. Hmm. I'm not going to contribute a soul to this Zeppelin. Go to hell. Contribute supplies to the Zeppelin. Hmm. I will contribute five supplies, I think. I have gained a wild wield status. I have drowning pearls, whatever the hell those are. I lost five supplies, and, and now I have ten times Empire of Hands the Zeppelin supplies. Which is confusing, but whatever. Uh, that will be all the supplies I will give them. Uh, return to Port Stanton. Uh... Let's uh, let's make certain the last location the monkey foundling's hut. She does not seem to be here right now. A pair of Pentecost apes are though are though glaring at you with equal parts malice and their usual avarice. I want to check it out. Chased away. The two Pentecost apes attack, snarling and hissing. Their raw ferocity forces a retreat, though they do not follow and press the advantage. Once you are through the trees, the chase ends. Peering through the foliage, you see them quietly return to their strange visual. Well, back I go. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I need a whole bunch of supplies. I'm, I'm, I'm adjacent to hell. <laughs> it's true. Brianna is correct. Uh, how meaningful is it to tell these characters to go to hell? I'm not sure. I'm not sure where the devils actually live. If the, the Empire of Iron is like hell hell, or if it's just like a colony of hell. I'd probably find that out. Um, there are still no shops. Uh, I guess, I guess it's time to roll. Um, there isn't much more I can do. I need to come back with a whole bunch more supplies, which is going to be tough. Let's look at my map. Um, Estival's way up there to get more supplies, but that's not fuel. Uh, have I been to Polythreme yet, or did I come right across? Uh, what's in my hold? Do I have Clayman in my hold? I don't. Where does she want? She wants to go to the Corsair's Forest. <laughs> okay. 
Gator's Morn's way up there. I could go over to Polythreme. Can I buy fuel at Wisdom? I don't remember. I have money. Let's go up to Polythreme to try to earn some. Some dudes. It's always weird when you definitely don't have enough fuel to get back. Um, because then you start doing risky things that in the event that you've, for example, forgotten what has fuel and what doesn't, uh, you can get yourself into a lot of shit. Uh, it's really a pretty good little system. I also like that generally running out of fuel puts you into uh, positions where... You can make deals to get more fuel, some of them just being like burn two supplies, get one fuel, but also like, oh, I'm going to accept the help of these horrific pirates, or I'm going to spend echoes to get stuff. Um, what's nice is, is because I'm actually building up echoes in order to attempt to buy something, uh, I think I'm trying to build my, uh, my uh, essentially next life thing by making a proper uh, will. Um, that puts me in a pretty good shape because then I can tay people with echoes. Ooh, I hear weird music, which can be good. How's my terror doing? Mm, meh. It's not bad. We hear voices that will not be drowned. This is the sea of voice. Fuck. Uh, voices. We are close to Polythreme, where nothing is truly dead. I need to go straight north. I need to avoid that guy. I need to turn off my lights. love that the port is called Comingle. No way! No! The quartermaster has been complaining of food going missing of late, and now you know why. The monkey foundling sits innocently up behind a crate, mouth surrounded by fresh crumbs and a bed of- Wait, your stolen clothes? Yeah. You seemed fun, she says. She desperately wants to explore the Z with you. She can earn her keep doing odd jobs for now. Your treasures need polishing, your mug needs filling in time. Maybe she can make an maybe you can make an officer of her. Yeah, I'm gonna dump a ho I'm gonna adopt a horrible monkey person child. Yeah! No, I'll do that. Uh, the monkey foundling hugs you tight tight and asks, eyes sparkling, where you keep the weapons. Oh, no. Uh, actually, that does mean... Is she is she an officer now? What can she be? She can be a mascot. She's way better than this dude. Yeah. Yeah, you can be my mascot. Sure thing. Can I speak to her? No. Oh, I had no idea. I'm so happy now. Uh, hey, Clayman. Tell me about your, uh, your country. I'm not giving anyone shore leave. I'm gonna carry Clayman to London, because that also seems horrible. Um, I don't have any things for you. Do you guys have shops? You do, but it's awful. Uh, do they have souls? No, they don't. I can buy more dudes. Uh, I think Brianna's gonna get the answer to the question, but... Oh yeah, she did. She <laughs> she has recognized the, uh, the, the monkey foundling. Yeah, I saw that picture and I was like, yeah, I want that plot to go someplace. She stole my fucking clothes. That's great. I was not expecting it to like, uh, does wisdom have fuel? No, Godfall doesn't. Uh, Estival can get me plenty of, does Nuncio have fuel? I don't even know. Gators Morn does. Can I make it to Gator's Morn from here? Shoot. No. I can't burn fuel to run away, because then I won't make it anywhere.
Man, that's great. I love that the, the, the setup of that was so good. Hey, you go there and she's nowhere to be found. And there are these, like, dudes waiting outside. Terrible Pentecost apes. They look angry because, you know, she's a troublemaker. That'll be... That's, that's freaking... No! Why are there so many guys? I'll stay inside the fog. Everything's fine. Three freaking fuel. How close am I to Khan's shadow? Did Khan's shadow have? Oh, can I even make it to Gators Morn on three? Ugh, I went out here and I thought I had plenty of fuel. I thought fuel was not going to be the thing I was short on. Well, I had lots of supplies. I kind of knew. Man, you have to carry a lot of fuel to get points for supplying the Zeppelin. Yeah, I fed the crew. Wow, two fuel. Yeah, I hope you have shops of some kind. Oh, you're all the worst. All the worst. I can buy ivory and I can buy a crate of human souls. Well, that's where you do that. Oh, good. Fuel. 15's not bad. Eh, pretty bad, but whatever. That's not the worst. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Pick those up. Six. Uh, actually, do I want to do anything in Con Shadow? Compile portal board. What's this? Oh, I need an element of dawn. Right. Uh, I can't remember what I'm supposed to do to gain entry to Khan's heart. Um, I can see if I can spy on the port. I'm just really bad at it. Uh, mm, mm, pass. I'm just going to move on. Go to Gator's Morn. Let's not burn the fuel to try to navigate through this terrible place. Also, I could just discover the southwest corner of the island, which I'd never done before. Oh, that is good. There's more just right here. Hmm. Very far off, someone screams. Born Vedas Pillar. Check. Lights are off. Oh god, he's gonna spot me. Yep, sure did. Pirate frigate, that's no good. I'm just gonna get shot now. Oh god. Oh, thank goodness. Ha! I'm glad you guys are terrible shots. Still terrible shots. their accuracy enough. How near is Gators Morn? I fucking passed it. That's how near it is. Patrick's Lot! Ha! Ah. For those keeping track of the Crooked Thimble deep, lo deep lore, Patrick's Lot matters to me. No, I didn't want to... Sound the all clear, someone. I didn't mean to go into battle mode. It's Depeche mode. All clear. Man, fuel just doesn't last long. Uh, I'm going 
gonna drop off the shady sort. She inhales the air and smiles, perhaps for the first time. As I remember it, she remarks. Less mud, more rum. At the winch head, a deferential fellow in fustian awaits. He bows to the shady sort. A pleasure, as ever. You, he barely favors the glance. He presses a heavy purse into your hand, small coins stained with salt water, but together they amount to a tidy sum. Uh... Gather intelligence. In caution. A steaming bathhouse on a spur of rock. Water slops over the edge of tubs. Out over the edge to join the Z far below. Scarred captains boast drunkenly of prizes they've taken and the victims they have marked out. You listen from the shadows. Woo! Uh, no, I'm not gonna let... Uh, I could explore more. I have something to wait to. Contratemps with Corsairs. Fights on the Morn have a staccato quality. A careless lunge will send you plummeting to your doom, so wait and choose your moment carefully. I'm going to flee. Away into the darkness. You plunge through a washing line, clatter down a flight of unsteady wooden chairs, and cut across the fish market and duck through a colonnade of faceless statues. Your pursuers are gaining on you until the statues and then they drop back. Disconcerting, but they're gone. I've got more terror now. Uh, another afternoon at the Errant Limpet. Cold shoulders. Oh, I can't do my, my muse on what it means to be human. Let's go. Think of my lovely back at home. Uh, if I've got the money, I should go to the salt lines. Yeah, let's beeline it for the salt lines. I mean, as much as I would like to drop a hunter's keep and see if it has advanced its plot at all. I think it will give me supplies, not fuel. Turn south a little bit. Not seeing any uh, boats hunting me. Something awaits me in port. Bonnie reefs up. Ah, pirate ship. Glad I went this way around the reefs. Good. Seem to be right on course to catch the salt lines. Oh, I'm in, in their zone. A baked breeze rises. The improbable scent of stone out of some distant desert. You are close to the salt lines. Fuck, it's a jelly floor. Everybody run. Everybody run. The air trembles, a breath of change passes. Yeah, I don't know what that does. Um, I actually really like it as a concept that essentially new things happen on islands when this essentially inventory item of change reaches to a certain level. It essentially queries how much change have you experienced in the Neath, and that causes new events to happen. Um, you're probably missing out on opportunities, but as far as I can tell, everything kind of escalates over time. Um, so it's nice. It's just a really solid way of doing 
uh, this sort of story-based roguelike. I think it's really, really smart. Um, I will carry Sphinx Stone to London, because I totally have... How bad's my hold? Uh, let's carry Sphinx Stone to 20 units of spare cargo. I have to dump supplies? It's normally worth it. Salt's rights. The face of the northern Sphinx is all but gone. Lost faces are sacred to Salt. They say, you are drawn there. To what end? Salt's voice is distant. I'm going to compile port report. I will totally do it. Dive from the Sphinx's face down a clean arc into the Z's chilly darkness. Float there in the quiet until your lungs are bursting, until light blooms behind your eyes. Rise, gasping to the prickle of false stars, the shocked faces of your crew. You've brought something with you. You have an extraordinary implication. I have a great deal of terror, and I've brought Zalt's attention. Let's carry some Sphinx down. One, two, three. Jelly Fleur pays attention again. Hey, another viewer has shown up. Hello, other viewer. Don't forget to subscribe and to patronize us. Wait, that's not right. There's a link down in the doobly doo to our Patreon page, unless I've really f screwed that up. Either way, it's Patreon. It's the Crooked Thimble at Patreon. So I believe it's www.patreon.com slash Crooked Thimble. Now we're going to move along. I've got quite a crew now. Uh, for those paying attention to how far I got before inside of the game, uh, I never got the Monkey Foundling, and uh, I don't think I've really gotten uh, very many of these guys before. We are almost home. I will get loads and loads of fuel from the Admiralty. And now I know where to get souls. A breath of relief. My terror is down to 50. You now have menaces, nightmares, strength. Terror is reduced to 50 when you return to London, if it's higher. However, if your terror was high, you may suffer nightmares later. Oh, no. Collect messages from the Harbor Master. Have another free evening. Uh, something has changed, and someone wants to sign on. Uh, let's see who wants to sign on. Uh, engage a Zaylor. Honestly, I need to. It costs 5 Echo. Yeah, let's do that. That loses me uh, terror. That's nice. Uh, London. Deliver the Clayman. I gain 120 echoes. Uh, deliver the Sphinx Stone. Sign, sign, sign. Here's a receipt. Here's a discretion contract. Here's a penalty contract. Your vision is blurred at the end of it all. The cart rumbles off with a coiling fog. Here's your reward. I deliver Sphinx Stone. I got 500 echo. That's great. Uh... Which means my, my hull is now empty. I'm not going to hire on any more crew, because that's fine. Visit the Rose Market in case they have anything that I have. God, I could sell them a long box. Ugh. Those are important. Uh, Admiralty Survey Office. Let's... Gators Morn. Gain fuel. Favors. Oh. Oh, you apparently only get favors for new locations. Pick moat. Mangrove College. Which did give, give me something. Uh, Polythreme. Empire of Hands. Con Shadow. Uh, Salt Lions, which they already know about. Um, wait, oh shoot, where was I supposed to go? Where 
does he want me to go? Admiralty Commission wants me to go to the Chalinet. Okay. Like something that can protect against sunlight. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's visit the Alarming Scholar. Uh, extraordinary implication. I think I kind of want to hold on to that. Uh, instead, let's go to my lodgings and spend time with my family. Uh, I'm trying to remember. You've gained memo memoir Z fever, new total eight, lost a vision of the surface, you lost 20 terror. Mmm, good stories, good times. Let's read the morning paper so that I can get things. Uh, I can rest in my elegant townhouse. I can sell it, which is terrible. Uh, but I need to visit my study and see what I can do. I could make a better will. Oh no, I already have an ironclad will. Everything's fine. Consider retirement. Interesting. Uh, all right. Uh, I've got 10 fuel. I have five supplies. Uh, I really, really need to uh, find new locations. And I need to visit the Chelinit. The Chelinit is way out there. Uh, so. Oh, and I've got a bunch of money. A bunch of money. Uh, can't I go to the shipyard? And get... Hull is worse. His hold capacity is awful. I want to carry more, though. Hold capacity is 40, but its weight is heavier. It can carry more guns. And a larger crew. The merchant cruiser, which I really can't afford. I mean, none of these are. All of these are way out of my price range. I can buy my own ship again. Yeah, okay. But all's in my hold. Okay. Let's get some provisions. Let's get up to 10 supplies. And let's get up to 20 fuel. Uh, do I want to buy the extra five supplies to give to the monkeys? Let's look at the map. Chalinit is like right in the middle. So it's not like I can even go along the north coast and just do it. Uh, now what if I went out? Went to Hunter's Keep, stopped by the Funging Station, went to Frostfound, and then went east. I can get more supplies at Estival. I can get more supplies at Estival. And I can even resupply. At Wanderer's Haven, if need be. Yeah. Yeah. Let's completely fill the, the hull with uh, stuff. Uh, do I want to buy a better engine?
I've never bought. I've never had a better engine. Let's buy a better engine. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Uh, and let's go back to the shops. And because you may have just made it impossible, buy one, two of those, one, two, three of those. And, uh, let's go. Let's see how it goes. Watch me have forgotten something really important to do while I was out. Hunter's Keeps, just a little ways north. We'll drop by. How is Penny still alive? Brianna asks. That's a great question. I have no idea how I'm still alive. I mean, I guess I've been... Okay, so I've been very good with managing fuel and supplies. Uh, so normally I don't live nearly this long. I also haven't done... You have a lot of opportunities to just kind of go delving into things that you definitely can't survive. Um, and I haven't done that. Uh, I'm going to reconnoiter the island. Uh, I need to visit the cellar, but I need Z stories and a mirror catch box and the clay man. Um, the real thing is a mirror catch box, which I don't know where to get. Um, parlor is empty. Where are the sisters? Okay. News, news. Hey, girls. Uh, I'm going to, uh, oh God, did I do Cynthia or, Lu Cynthia or Lucy last time? I'll do Phoebe this time. Uh, we've heard this before. Uh, you lose terror, you gain supplies, everything's good. I'm going to check on, oh. A hump of dark raw, th oh. I'll read it again. Hunters keep in darkness. A hump of dark rock, swathed in mist, like a hundred other Unterzee islands. A grand house rises on the rock, a silhouette empty of lights. The uncut grass on the lawn bends, rises, bends again in the breeze. You smell damp stone and faintly blood. Crunch across the gravel, up to the door. The brass of the door knocker is tarnished. The paint is beginning to peel in the salt Z air. No one answers, but the door is unlocked. The hall is dark, the parlor too. There are signs of disturbance here and there. A smashed cup, an overturned piano stool, scratches on the walls. You bend to pick up a page of paper and hold it to the light. It is an unfinished poem, you think. The handwriting may be Phoebe's. The absent moon, the gnawing hunger in the heart, the well, the sea, a great many crossings out. There are sounds from downstairs, from the kitchen. You push open the door cautiously. Something clings to the ceiling. Something turns yellow eyes to you and hisses. The thing in the kitchen, the yellow-eyed maid clings to the ceiling like a lizard, fierce and wiry in her ragged uniform. She hisses furiously, then you advance a step. She scurries away to the far end of the room, still on the ceiling, weeping. Coax her down. Whoever and whatever she is, she's suffering. Down she comes! You try to question her, those poor zailers, she spits. You realize that all the time you spent at Hunter's Keep, she had never spoken. The poor Zailers, I didn't come here for this. Damn them to well, to the well. She finished the meat. She's finished the meat. She returns to the ceiling in a single inhuman bound. You lost supplies, gained fragments, succeeded in a hearts challenge. You've explored the silent house on Hunter's Keep. The silent house. Search the house. Oh, God, that's not going to work out well, but I'm going to do it. Bedrooms, bathrooms, and a breakfast room. The servant's stairs, all empty of life. The long case clock at the top of the stairs licks like a heart. Outside, the sea sighs. You've gained terror. I've explored the thing. I failed the test. Uh... 
the crew spread out to spread out whatever they can? Hmm. They're not happy. Few of them signed on to be robbers. They return with their arms full of both junk and treasures. The sisters have, and or had, an awful lot of junk. Outside, the sea softs. I have a watchful curio. Uh, the house is on fire. I have a bunch of outlandish artifacts. Watch, it's all you can do. The death of Hunter's Keep. Flames lick about the gables. The spine of the house breaks with the roar as the roof falls in. Sparks fly up to, towards the false stars so far above. The death of the house takes hours, but it is total. Only a cindered shell remains. I have a report for Keep's End. Memory of Distant Shores. Oh, the acquaintance Phoebe's fate quality is now lost in a fire. Hunter's Keep in Ruin. Pick over the house. Peace in the Ruins. No one has come to reclaim Hunter's Keep despite its proximity to London. The place has an eerie reputation. It's difficult to see why. Today, the place is as peaceful as a folly in the park. The air is still. Far across the water, the sights of London glow. Oh. Oh, good. Good, I can still excavate the cellar, but I've missed out on getting Phoebe as a crew member! Oh. Claim in. Mirror catch box. Eh. Uh, well, this is awful. This is awful. Maybe something will change later. That's bad. I wanted Phoebe to join the crew. Oh god. Oh god, everything's bad. Recurring nightmares, you've begun to dream of a vast eye. It knows you. You cannot evade its gaze. Again and again, you are alone in a wide black Z. The eye is aware. Your nightmare will come upon you from time to time, inspiring terror. Grain restful nights at your, laundry, at your lodgings to help resist it. If you defeat it, you gain a secret. Thinking of... There's the funding station. How bad's my terror? 20. That's no good. Yeah, I think the eye can actually come for you. Actually, is the funny thing. Uh, I think I will have tea with the factor, but I will also compile a port report. I uh, gather supplies. That might be worth it. Um, I've burned through a little bit. Tea with the factor. Oh, that's right. I need to go to Vendor Bite at some time, at some point. Uh, do I want to gather supplies? How's my hold doing? 40-40. Can't even. actually want to go to Frostfound. I just want to go east of it and see if I can start detecting new islands. We will probably stop. Bright is a long way to the northeast. Bright. Is that a different location from Frostfound? Frostmore?
Okay, so there's that dock. Is there a second dock? You discovered Bright. I don't want to go to Stoddard's Haven, because it's awful, and I will die. <laughs> On the surface, the sun still warms the earth. Or so one assumes. The Ragged Crow is a long way to the east. What's that bright... Oh, it's a light. Everything's fine. We enter Stormbone. St. Elgius sends his fire to dance in the air in the deck. Very far away, we see the great light of the Ragged Crow. Ragged Crow doesn't seem to have a dock. Hmm. A Zaylor is praying. No islands in the Sea Bats range. Still got loads of supplies. Keep heading east, then cut south to the Chalinet. Mount Palmerston. Mount Palmerston. What does that even mean? That can't be good. That looks dangerous. Palmerston. Ambrose, the best saint. Okay, discovered Port Palmerston. This looks dangerous. <sighs> Explore the island. another high place and so I can think about things. I'm gonna think about my past as a priest. You've gained five hearts. It's a way of very quickly leveling up. Chat with the port folk. Oh, I didn't even read that. Sullen lights glow green at the jetty's edge. Behind the port buildings, the island is knee-deep in ash. There are ruins here and there of houses destroyed by fire. Far above, the mountaintop flickers red just for an instant. Have a chat with the port folk about the Brimstone Convention. There was a revolution in hell, and the aristocracy of devils fled here. Here, they plot in exile, a shrug and a curse. They don't do us any harm. They stay up there, and we stay down here. If hell's fighting itself, that's good for us all, isn't it? Interesting. Uh, I can't explore the peak again? I didn't realize that would go away. Right away? That's lame. Uh, you guys got shops? You can buy supplies? You can buy fuel? Oh, wow, I can buy fuel for cheaper than... Uh... Oh, interesting. Interesting. I can buy, buy fuel on cheap. That's real good to know. Devil Dome, Bone Dice, 
probably going to pass on all of this, but now I know where I can get fuel. That's great. Um, I could try to gather supplies. The music got all creepy. Let's go east through this terrible stuff. Remember, right? This stuff slows me down to go through. Snow sweeps down from the north. The ship's engines labor against it. The air crackles with frosty radiation. One second. To the north, the false stars fail in darkness. Some sort of beetle has invaded the morsel of the ship's biscuit. It waggles its antennae impertinently. Hmm. Oh, way to the north. What was the name of this island that I just spotted? Is that what I think that is? Lights off. Yeah. Yeah, it is. The avid horizon at some distance to the north. Lights on. What is this? This doesn't look good. That looks like the correspondence. <laughs> the map stopped scrolling because I got too far north. Oh god. Avid Horizon. This is the end. Two vast, winged shapes guard a gate of something like resin, smooth but uneven. It is deep gant, the color that remains when all other colors have been eaten. Ice crusts over the crack between its valves. Approach and your breath freezes, falls tinkling in shards from the air. It would be utterly foolish to touch the thing. A merciless wind blows from everywhere to everywhere. It passes without effort through your bridge coat, your flesh, your lungs. The dock lies empty. Gather intelligence. Nothing moves. The stillness itself is of interest to the Admiralty. It is not impossible someone foolish might attempt to open the gate. It is not inconceivable that it might open from the other side. What then? Your journey here may attract the attention of, certain, of a certain crimson patron. Return your port report to the Admiralty in London to unlock a new story. Oh. Open the high gate. 4D materials for the passage. Interesting. I heard a story. The ice by the gate's edge. There was a whisper about a hunting quest and a final revenge. Yes, yes. This is what the rumors meant. A hunter frozen in the ice, hands contorted to claws, mouth agape. With her left hand, she had plucked her own eye from the socket. It lies very close to the surface of the ice. If the stories are true, there's a dark virtue in that eye. Take it then, but perhaps you should put it in a jar. I'm going to look into the stars. You've gained 10 terror. Great, and a fragment. 
Stars float in the mirrored night of the waves. Watch them for a while. Peace beneath the world. These are real stars. They burn above the roof of the neath, beyond the earth, in the space of heaven. Even so far away, even now, their eyes are on you. But here in the night, under the world, you are safe. Safe. You return to your senses, gasping. Your hands are cold and numb. How long were you watching the stars? Explore the shoreline. An abandoned expedition. A ragged tempt flaps in the freezing wind. Ice encrusted bones lie tumbled at the flap. Someone came here to be forgotten. You gain three supplies, which is wonderful. I now have an eyeless skull. Uh, I have an empty mirror catch box. If I get some clay men, I can go to the... I can go check out the underground of Phoebe's stuff. Let's go get some clay men from Polythreme. Do I want to go further east? Do I want to stop now? What are we doing on time? Oh, uh, we're done. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We made it to the Avid Horizon. And that's going to be it for the day. Thank you very much for coming to uh, hang out with us on the stream. Thank you for watching. Please do remember that we are the Crooked Thimble. You can catch us out at www.crookedthimble.com or just crookedthimble.com. I think both work. And please do go visit our Patreon. We're making a video game. It's going to be cool when we announce it. Uh, we should have updates on that page uh, relatively soon to show uh, off what's been going on on the website. Anyway, uh, thank you all very much. It's hot as hell, and I'm looking forward to turning on the fan again. All right. Good night, everyone.